All right, guys, welcome back to Rouse House. We're back, and this is the Berry's Mill down in Rome, Georgia, and this is our little picnic place, and uh, just a really neat place to go. And, and we've got it drawn out here, kind of some uh, purple paint I had I don't use every day. I thought I'd get rid of it. But it made a pretty good drawing. It's probably going to make a good underlay for what we're going to do with all these different paints. The first thing we got to do, we're going to start from the Father's Place back. We're going to start with the sky, and I've got a little bit smaller brush. But I paint with big brushes. We're not down to details yet. We're just painting. Don't be afraid to put the paint on there. Right now we've got to work on our sky. And I've got a very basic palette. Uh, my red is a birch in it. Uh, yellow ochre. I've got my blue. So I've got my red, yellow, and blue. Uh, I've got uh, some green over here and my white. Uh, and you might not sound like all these are sky colors, but we're going to make them sky colors. I believe in colors. I like colors. First thing I want to do is get this sky covered. I'm just going to grab a bunch of this yellow ochre. And let's go over the sky. And get it in here. Yellow ochre to me is a sky color because it's, it's it just it looks like a sky color. It's light, it's a warm light color. Now see the thing, beautiful thing about this is I can paint right over that, but it didn't cover it up, but everything's covered. Don't paint up to the edge and stop. Because if you get up real close and look, you'll see canvas that didn't get painted. You'll see it looks like a cardboard cutout stuck on there. Don't be afraid to paint over your paint. Get, you're, you're painting. Get paint on there. Well, there everything covered, so you just get it on there. See, all this other was nothing but a drawing. Don't be afraid to paint your skies down into the hills. See, I'm going down into the hills. And then we'll put the hills that way when I put the paint the sky, we'll put it back on or the hills, we'll put them on top of the sky. Again, just my yellow ochre, I'm just trying to get paint on here, something to paint into. See the strokes are just put them on there, move it around. And that's your strokes, don't be afraid to let them show. It doesn't hurt in the sky. If you're doing a smooth sky picture, you'll, you'll go away from these filters, get into a sable and do something like that. This is just background. That's all this is. A little more water, a little more of my yellow ochre. And just and that sky color just going up there. Also gonna hit down here in the pond, didn't it? Gonna reflect into this pond. So don't be afraid to put it down there. Whatever I put up there, all the stones that are down here, just We're covering canvas, that's what we're doing. We're just getting this canvas covered. Get more of that yellow ochre and just get it in here. And I'm sorry, Michael, that I just blew your mind there with it. I'm out of your camera shot. Hey, uh, okay. I, I forget about my cameraman sometimes, which he reminds me of after he turns the camera off. But uh, it just happens. Okay, so we got our we got some yellow ochre up there into the sky, so that's a good kind of sky background, hill color. That's a good, it's a good color for the, the dark hills that are back in here. I mean, just you can use it for everything. You're just you're glazing, you're putting paint on top of paint. So we're just getting some stuff on there to paint into. Now I'm gonna grab a little bit of this white. Let's that kind of change that sky look a little bit. How quick it changed it. But it's got that color in it. Back in that background. I want that light coming between those spokes. We're going to paint trees and stuff back on there. Now I cover my paintings up a whole lot when I paint. Put that up in here. Because I'm painting once I can see. I'm up close enough to see where the trees are and what I want it to be up in there. How light I want to grab a little bit of my cerulean blue now and cut in with that. To get over here on this side. Give me a sky color back up in here. A little more of that ultramarine blue. You know, it's going to be light. Let's get some blue in here. 
lighten that up again with it. I want some of that sky color to show. I want to show through that wheel and I want you to know it's sky. I want you to know it's sky, I'm going to put sky color in that wheel. Move it around. Places where that sky light, that color is going to hit. A little bit of ultramarine blue. That's my good dark blue. I want that part of the sky there darker. Got some background behind those trees. And some of that color into the water down here. That's what's going to make it look like water. Good dark blue in under here. So we have that wheel reflecting into the water. The wheel's going to be lighter, so we got We know we got to have a darker water. We have a little bit of that green put in with it to cast that with the reflections of that wheel on that water. We just got to have that. So that get dark there. Let's cast the shadow on the water because the light's coming from there. So we're just trying to get paint on here. Sometimes it looks wild, but that's all right. Get some color back in here behind that wheel. Get that little piece colored over there. That's where the trees are going to be. That ground that was back in there in the background. This mountain back up here. See, I'm seeing some. Thin places there, let's get covered. I want everything covered. And that, that can be sky. And I'll grab me some of that white. Give me some big glob of white, put it on here. And you hear that frustration in the background? That's just a. <laughs> everybody back there say, what did he just do? And I know I'm terrible about that, but that's going to be the light that's going to be coming between the wheel and. Casting through there, a little bit of skylight, and on the spokes of the wheel, maybe on the back of that wheel where it's coming around there. So, so I'm trying. And that's just this is just we're playing, right? We're still playing. We ain't start. We ain't got to detail stuff yet. We're trying to begin. Well, where are my lights? Where are my clouds might be? Where the bright parts might be? Let's grab some of this yellow ochre and put in there. Much more of that white put in there. See if we can make that jump out there. See with it. Pull that down into here. Catch that little bit of sunshine colors, I call them. We're just going to hit on that wheel. See, this is, guys, we're just having fun. We're playing here. We're establishing what we want to be, getting our shapes. I think it's coming along a little bit. It looks wild. Y'all come.